There's a condo complex deep in the heart of Los Angeles that has been acting as a refuge and feeding ground for the parasitic-ridden Norway sewer rat. For years, tenants have been complaining about strange sounds and smells emanating from their walls. Other experts have even been caught lying to cover their ignorance. Today, the twins have mere hours to locate and evict these rats once and for all. And what they discover will chill you to your bones. Is anyone safe? Let's dispatch Jim and Dave and find out. Hello? Hey, good morning, Richard. Dave here. Good morning. I'm Rich. Any activity last night? Yeah, in mine, in that uh, in that bathroom wall that I showed you yeah. above the mirror. On this hole that I showed you last time, yep. right behind that area yep. is, a, uh, is a snap trap. Okay. You can't miss it, just just be careful that. This one, there's never been anything in there, but I okay. do have a glue trap and some bait in there. Can you cut 26 in how long again? I checked the records. It's been almost a year. In June, it'll be a year. 26 rats in yeah. one year. That's a lot. Okay, so we're in the subterranean garage. We're directly below the units that are being affected. Now, multiple plumbers were telling the owner that it's impossible for the rats to come up into these drains here and get into the units because they can't climb all the way up. And that is completely false. Oh, that's a bunch of hogwash. Here's the branch line here. So I'm predicting that the rats are coming up through here, walking down this area here, and then going up to the second floor and chew their way through is my prediction. But which one of these pipes right here are they accessing to get in those units? That is the question. So you caught nine rats up here? Nine or 10, one, three, four, five, six. Six downstairs? Six down, and, and 11, 11, up, 11 yeah. up here, okay. All right, as you can see, we've got our containment up. We're ready to open up these areas here in preparation of our smoke test. Multiple plumbers, multiple pest controllers. God, I hope I could solve this. I've got 30 years experience as a plumber and I've got about 12 years as a pest controller. So I think that combination might solve this. I think you can, because I believe in you. There you go. Just pull that trap out of there. Just jerk it out of there. There you go. What are they using? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You want to do it? They tried their best. Okay, so we opened up the ceiling, and you could see the rat's runway right there. This is how they're getting in the unit uh, above. Okay, and then right here, I have a feeling that the opening might be below this wall here. This is a three inch line right here. So let's get this wall opened up here so we can expose this. When we do our smoke test, we can verify here. So now let's, let's cut this out here because that's where it's connecting the plastic to the cast iron. And this is all cast iron. We're not chewing through that. A lot of times we'll see rusty cast iron pipes that have holes in them, but this looks to be in good shape. That's good to know. All right, let's go upstairs. Look at that. Yep. No way, dude. <laughs> oh my. Oh, you're kidding. Who's getting the open? <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, that's a left pipe. This has been a false alarm. So it's not a disconnected pipe. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. That pipe is supposed to be going through here, you guys. That damn plumber again. There's no way, there's no way. <gasps> no, no way. Look at that. A vent pipe that was never terminated through the roof. 
Look at that, you guys. This one pipe right here was left open and caused the city sewer rats to come through for an entire year and caused many, many sleepless nights for both owners. They spent thousands of dollars on pest control companies and plumbers and the damage that it caused this unit and the unit below is unbelievable. And we were able to precisely open up and find it right there. Now we don't know if this is the only opening, but this right here for sure is absolute proof that they were coming and going right here. So what we're gonna have to do is we'll cap that off. We'll do a smoke test and verify that there's no other breaches in here just to confirm. But I can almost guarantee you this opening right here was the major cause of all of this rat infestation in this building. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so this is the stack right here. So we've got our smoke machine all set up. We're gonna inject it there. See if we got any other breaches. No smoke up there? Nothing. Hey, Victor, we're not getting any smoke, brother. Nothing's coming out of this open pipe. I took the cap off. We're not getting any smoke. Is the vacuum right there? Yeah. Let me have the vacuum. We're gonna have to get some rags or something just temporarily block that clean out out because we're losing all our smoke downstream of the sewer system. You see, if I didn't check, if I didn't pull that cap off, everybody would be assuming that we would be having tons of smoke, even though we verified down in the garage area that we're getting plenty of smoke, but it's not rising here. The point I'm trying to make is if you hire a company that's doing smoke testing, there could be half of your sewer and vent system that's not getting that smoke. So as you can see, I had to take a vacuum and suck up the smoke to verify if the smoke is even coming into the drain system. But then once I removed the vacuum, all of that smoke got sucked back down into the main sewer system. I gotta get it up here. I gotta get it up in these walls. I gotta get it up into these floor joists. I gotta confirm. If not, I'm gonna get a call back and I don't want callbacks. I couldn't agree more. So we've plugged it off here. We verified that this pipe goes up. We're gonna pump our smoke. It's gonna fill up. It's gonna hit that blockage right here. And then we'll start getting smoke rising into the drains that we need to go up. It gets tiring up and down the stairs. I mean, it's a lot of work, you guys. But that's why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> we got smoke now. Yeah. Okay, wait. Coming straight up on top here. Did you cap off that? No. Oh, you gotta cap it off. You, you gotta cap it off, dirty. Where is the cap? Uh, downstairs. You guys got the cap down there? Why don't you? Two inch cap. Yeah. It's in the hallway. Why would the cap be in the hallway? Use your brain. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Run it. Are we running the smoke now, Victor? It is. There it is. There it is. When you got smoke. He's got smoke coming out of the toilet in the first floor. Okay, just keep an eye over here, okay, Thompson? Okay. Don't leave. In fact, let me shut this door so you don't leave. Oh, shut the smoke off. Shut the smoke off. Got a lot of smoke coming in the toilet here. Wow. It's like an 80s video, rock video. Yes. Yeah, you got smoke in the toilet downstairs too? I didn't get a video of it, but. Okay. When yeah. I open it, you wow. Can Toilet smoking. That's another thing, guys, is if, uh, if you're hiring a company to do smoke testing, most of them are using that $500, $600 machine. And not to put superior smoke under the bus here, it's just something that we 
don't use because 15, 16 years ago when we started doing smoke testing, I learned a big lesson that toxic smoke from Superior, those big candles, took weeks and weeks and I was getting complaints. Hey, I still have that lingering odor which smells like chemicals and toxicity and it actually burns your throat. If you get this type of smoke inside your house, that smell's not coming out. Write that down. So I have an idea here, you guys. In this particular situation, I wanna show visual proof. The tenant here experienced a lot of noise last night. So we probably have rats inside the ceiling below us. See those holes right there? The rats can easily travel up and down here. To verify and give the landlord peace of mind and proof, I'm gonna set up a camera inside of this pipe right here to prove to him that they were in fact coming up. I'm going to show you how we're doing that. We're going to go ahead and block off the runways here by injecting some foam. We're going to isolate them down in that unit, unit number nine. We're going to seal off this hole. Any rats in here, we don't want them to go down. No way they're coming through there. Now I got this blocked off, so this will... This will harden up uh, overnight. There's the camera down the pipe. And that's our, that's our view right there. Okay, so this one here, our bait station is set. We'll set down like this. And then we're gonna build a little box around this so when they come out, their only food source is right here and then we'll be able to monitor with the camera. I had my wife wrap saran wrap in my hand so I can reach in and, and, and pull it out. <laughs> this is the type of shit I've been dealing with for the past year. So this is my rat trap here. It's like, a, it's like a museum piece. I don't even know what to make of it. I even had this up there for like three months. I didn't catch you didn't get, yeah, so I, I, there's a customer that had one of these and I put it underneath the house yeah. and I put my rat trap. Guess who won? I won. Wow. They have to go through this tunnel to get this much bait, so it's not as enticing yeah. for them yeah. to go after that. But right here, the bait's right there in front of their faces. Oh yeah, you got a little house for so them I, and everything. Yeah. So and then here, see that little black thing? That's yeah. a that's a bait tugger. So like you could shove meat peanut butter, variety of bait in there. They trigger the rat trap much faster. Typically the Norway rat, you won't catch a lot of adult rats. Mm -hmm. You'll catch those juveniles because they're, they're like mice, they're dumb. Mm -hmm. Like if there's big rats, they're gonna look at this and you're gonna see in the cameras, they're um, looking around like this. You could tell right, they're, they're just- like ninjas or some shit, yes. right? They'll pull away, they'll walk away. But as soon as we seal that off, then they're gonna get hungry, they get weaker, and then they go, all right, I, I gotta take a chance here. And then all of a sudden, we're catching them left and right. That's how you catch the big ones. That's a great idea. I'm gonna take the sticky pad out. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, what I'll do though is I like to compete with your trap with my trap. Is that a, is that a, is that a deal? Cool. Okay, all right, we'll leave this in here then. Okay, so we've got the twins trap up against the plastic trap with Nutella. I'm not a big fan of Nutella. I like my peanut butter and uh, dog food, but uh, let's see which one's gonna catch a rat here. If there are rats here tonight, it's gonna be very, very loud. Louder than you've never heard before. You gotta brace yourself for that. They're going up this toilet stack right here and they found an opening through a pipe that a plumber never connected and left it open in the wall. So they're popping inside the wall and they're getting into your unit number nine and number 10. So we're gonna set, this is a rat back. So we're gonna set this up here. We're gonna divert them into here and basically suck the rats into a vacuum. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so if it's loud and you hear a vacuum like kick on and off, <laughs> more than likely it's a rat. They chew through my shower wall. They so. chew through your shower wall? Yeah. No. That, that, that's a bit aggressive. Hey Thompson, let's look at this rubber coupling right here. Okay. Pull that off. Please don't touch that. Let's see if they've, uh... yeah, see, look at they chew through there. So 
There's some aggressive rat chewing in here, you guys. So I'm hoping we can really decolonize and suck up some rats. I'm excited. So I can't just hook up the rat back here because if they're flushing toilets, we're gonna get some back flush or back water going in and filling up that rat back. So we'll use a couple of 45s. So we're above that water flow line. We'll take some of this. Get rid of some of that glue smell. Pull some of that poo-poo water out of there. That is the most disgusting thing that I've ever seen. Okay, we're getting the rat back set up. Put some peanut butter to lure them right into this sewer pipe so we can just suck them up. A lady walked by, she saw my rat traps and she says, oh, poor little mice. I said, oh, we're not dealing with mice, we're dealing with rats. And she goes, poor little rats. She goes, do you catch them in a humane way? I go, you know, I've tried catching rats in a humane way, but unfortunately it doesn't work in my business. Maybe out on a farm or out in the wilderness, but in a residential area, when you have rats in your walls, it doesn't work. That's just the way it is. But here's what I do. And I try to release them into the wild, even though they're dead, but at least the hawks are getting some food. So we are putting it back into mother nature. The rats are gonna die anyways. I mean, if I release them into the wild, the hawks are gonna come and get them. That's why our rat traps are effective because our traps just boom kills them much faster than any other rat trap out there. Now the rat bat, this is good because you could set it up in multiple different areas, especially like if you have a mice infestation, you don't wanna kill them, you don't wanna be trapping. This right here can catch up to like 50, 60 mice. Just catch them and then you can release them. So that's what's cool about the rat back. All right, now that we've baited it, go ahead and get this thing set up. Make sure it's level, there we go. That's solid, you guys. Bam! It's showtime! All right, so here's the vacuum here. We do like the rigids. This one here is putting out about 6.5 peak horsepower, 20 gallons. Then we're gonna connect the other side of the hose to the rat back. Oh, solid. Okay, we're just gonna support the hose. Like that, so we have a straight shot. Nice radius, so I can suck in to the vacuum pretty easy. All right, let's test this bad boy. Are we gonna suck some rats out? And how many? That's the question. I'm so excited. Day two. All right, so this is the next day. Absolutely no activity in any of those cameras, which is a bit surprising being that they had noise the night before. But if that pipe was wide open, could happen where all of those rats just went down that pipe into the sewer and now they can't come up because of that camera. But what they did hear is that vacuum go off around midnight a couple of times. You kind of hear the humming sound vibrating through the structure there. So I'm gonna stop by and see if we sucked them out of that sewer pipe. Oh, geez, two? Yes. Wow. What? Wow. Look at oh, that. Goddamn. Yep. Damn. So what's happening is they're not sensing airflow up in that because we taped it and capped it off. So they're getting the food, they're sensing the food here and they're like, all right, and then boom. Are they bigger? I mean, are those babies? You think? No, they're not. They're just out of the juvenile stage. So they're yeah. probably. They're a little bit bigger than the ones that I typically. Yeah, the ones call. you were catching in those sticky pads and the traps. Yeah. Juveniles. Okay. The, these type of rats here are a little bit more complicated to catch. Yeah. If you don't seal up their entry point, yeah. they're, they're not gonna hit that bait. This confirms that yeah. there are sewer rats going into your place. Do you wanna, you wanna see real quick? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta look. Look in, look in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Work? 
the camera? Yeah, there was a there was another another rat. What? Sucked up right. It was right here. So a quick update in the units. Absolutely no noise whatsoever. We're catching them right here, right where they were going up. This is exciting. What's going to be interesting is how many rats are we going to catch? I'm going to leave this for at least another 10 to 15 days just to monitor how many rats we're dealing with in this sewer pipe here. Pretty exciting. Three weeks later. All right, guys, it's been three weeks. Dave left me here just last night as we were about to close this job up. We found a rat in the ceiling. Check it out. That's a nice size one. Yeah, God damn. Oh, yeah, look at that. So you and Dave had a bet? Yeah, because I got my trap in there with Nutella. And okay. Dave's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think it's soft too, but it didn't, didn't get it. Ooh. Oh, wow. It looks like the twin trap outperformed the T-Rex and the Nutella. Good job, Dave. This deserves the rat dance.